I'm Dr. Bobby Stanley, owner of Stanley Dentistry in Cary, North Carolina. Today, I'll be walking through exercises designed for OMT, or Oral Facial Myofunctional Therapy. OMT is a series of exercises designed to disorganize patterns of oral habits and repattern to optimize oral or facial function. Improper function of the lips and tongue can cause issues to develop in speech, breathing, sleeping, growth, chewing, and swallowing. At Stanley Dentistry, we are screening these improper functions or habits when treating patients for TMD or temporomandibular disorder, patients with sleep issues, or with orthodontics, pediatric, and cosmetic dentistry. We have developed these videos to assist in pre and post treatment of lip and tongue release surgery, also known as phrenectomies. They are designed for increased range of motion and to build good habits for strength building. Please use them and our printed handouts as a guide to record and complete the exercises. These exercises will be started one week before lip release procedure. They will continue one week after your surgery. Let's begin. The first exercise is called the lip trace. Teeth should be apart and the lips close. Then use the tongue to trace the inside of the lips and mouth. Change directions, then repeat 30 times, three times a day. Next is called lip curl. Use your index finger to roll up onto the upper lip with pressure as if curling the lip with your finger. Complete this exercise 30 times, three times a day. Next up is upper lip stretch. Pull your upper lip with your fingers, hold the stretch for a count of 20. You should feel the resistance in your lip when completing the exercise correctly. Wrinkle your nose for a better stretch. Do this exercise five times for three times a day. The surprise granny stretch is next. Pull the upper and lower lips over the teeth. Raise your eyebrows and hold for a count of 10. Release and repeat 10 times, three times daily. The next exercise is called air puffs. Count to five while holding air in each of the four sections of your mouth. Right cheek, upper lip, lower lip, left cheek. Complete all four sides five times, three times a day. Finally, each day you need to practice putting your tongue on the spot for 30 minutes. This can best be done while watching a 30 minute TV program or sitting at your comp computer. Not speaking, with your tongue on the spot, lips closed, teeth slightly apart, and breathing through the nose. Remember, you must move your lips. There is a greater than 60% chance of some portion or all of the release reattaching without using these exercises as a tool to repattern existing habits. Expect some discomfort after the lip release and while doing the exercises the week after. Rinse with warm salt water and dab on liquid vitamin E oil for healing. Keep your diet on the first day or so to a soft, bland, and cold foods for discomfort. Refrain from exercise the first day. Use over-the-counter medications as needed for discomfort and be sure to follow manufacturer's recommendations on the bottle. Complete these three times a day and use our handouts to record your progress to report at your next dental appointment. These exercises are best done in front of a mirror to have proper form and extension. You will feel a stretch or a pull of the area to be released with exercises. Please discontinue if you have lasting jaw joint discomfort and contact our office with any questions or concerns you may have. We look forward to seeing your progress 
at your next appointment with us here at Stanley Dentistry.